Okay guys, what we got here is a little 73 Nova hatchback came in. Customer, this is uh, his wife's car actually. And um, as you can see, they've put an aftermarket hood on it with the, the cowl up there on it. Had to replace one fender and uh, we fit the fender. Got it lining up pretty good. This side of the car is in really good shape. Most of this car is original paint. Some areas have been repainted and some areas haven't. And it is a hatchback. Um, don't know what else to tell you about it. It's kind of done up a bit. It's got a small block in it that's all done up. We'll get to that in a newer video later on. Anyway, so on the back here, apparently they couldn't find quarter panels for a hatchback. So the panels they got, this is kind of cramped in here, you're not going to see, are for a two-door. But that two-door is different than a hatchback, the quarter panel. The main part of it is the same. It's just different up along the body line there. So I'm going to leave that alone. I've cut it where I wanted to. I had to cut it up this high anyway. It was quite rusted out down below. Had to get in there and replace the wheel tub. So there you go. Obviously, you cut your quarter panel off, you replace your wheel tubs. Now, I've said this in past videos. Take your wheel tub, grab your clamp, so just like that, facing down there, when you cut the old one off, place your new wheel tub in there with some clamps and then try your quarter panel on before you weld the wheel tub in place. Because I've done it before myself and I've seen other people do it. Sometimes you think this thing is lined up and centered. You get it on there, it looks beautiful, but you go to put the quarter panel on and it's either too low or too high. And then if it's too low, what happens is the quarter can't go up high enough to meet where it needs to join. So anyway, I pre-fit it, made sure it all worked and now the, the uh, tub there is welded on. So I got to do some more trimming away of this quarter panel. Like I say, I never take it all off at first. I just take off what I need. Uh, but like I say, the new quarters are different, so I'm going to be joining it along this line. I'm going to butt weld it. I'm going to go slow. I'm going to just do little spots. One here, one there, one there. You have your trusty air ready. You blow it down, and away you go. So hopefully, I don't know what day we're on today, Tuesday or something like that. It's the end of the day. Hopefully by the end of the week, I will have that quarter panel on. Um, not that it's going to take me to the end of the week to do it. It's just I got other stuff I'm working on in between. So there we go. Basically, I cut this out today, put that tub on, pre-fit it, did some other little patches it needed that we haven't got, got all that done, and that was basically almost a day in there for me. I don't know. I think I spent like, I don't know, six hours or something farting around, cleaning stuff up and getting stuff ready. So there we are. That's what's going on there. So yeah, a little 73 Nova, cool little car. Um, they're going to go a darker gray. I think they're going like a slate gray with some black racing stripes up the hood and down the, down the hatchback. So that'll look quite cool. So that is what's happening there. Now it's not a frame off by no means. It's just to clean up, get rid of the rust, do the paint, do the body. There we go. So it's a nice little driver for his wife. She's going to have fun with it. By all means, she will be out there laying rubber. We all know that for a fact. She's that kind of lady. She likes a, she likes a speedy car. Should we get to the grocery store real quick? So there we are. So, and what else? Well, if you remember, we got the, uh, the Pontiac we're working on for Irv, the little 51 or 52, I can't remember what year it is. We got the LS in there. You can see we got some color on the firewall. Chris is getting everything hooked up and attached to that. Lots of things have to be done. You just don't drop the LS in. I mean, he's missing pieces. You know, you need certain things. You need sensors and proper rad hoses to make shit work. You got to get the dry shaft made, all that kind of stuff. But this is in final bodywork. The bodywork's all been done. Edges are painted. Once you get the inside all wired and done, we'll hang the doors. There's no point in hanging the doors right now because they just get in the way so you got more room with the doors off. So the Pontiac is coming along quite well. Now we got this truck that we're converting in. If you remember, I told you it's going on a 90s, mid 90s Ford chassis of a diesel. And this guy's going to... Um, like pizza ovens on the back. He's got another one that's a smokehouse. It goes around and does catering. So you can see I've gotten in there. I've welded the inner and outer cab corner in. Yes, there's an inner cab corner you can buy for these. So when you cut your outer cab corner off, there's an inner one. You got to put it in first, then you do your outer one. I've done the step down below. Made sure I put I've got the doors on to make sure everything lines up. As you can see, the step is on there. Um, I'm doing the welding on the cab. Bruce has been working away welding up all the front end stuff. The fenders had some rust in them. So he had to do some rust repair down in there. He's got the bodywork roughed in. It's ready for primer. He uh, did the front panel that your grill bolts do. He's working on the inner fenders. So this truck doesn't have a box because obviously it doesn't need a box. It's going to become a, a pizza truck. So that's coming along quite well. And then, of course, in the corner, we got the little 56 Chevy. You all remembered the owner had the floor. Get some lights on here. The owner had the floor made up the other day. 
one big piece of metal, rolled, cold steel. So we fit it in there, fits really good. Now the next thing is we got our templates we have to cut out for the, um, we have to cut the wheel out because we're going to be putting tubs in. Once we get that cut out, we can start to plate, there's our, our cardboard template. Then we're going to start to cut this out because this here you see here is going to come a lot further. Then we're going to cut the floor out and we're going to start doing our tubs. And of course we got to finish doing the floor. Right now I just got it tacked in in a few spots. You can see I've got the box braced up. You had to make sure you squared the whole box up first. So anyway, we did that. We've welded up the stake pocket holes for them, stuff like that. We're going to be customizing how the tailgate goes on. Tailgate's actually going to go in here, inside here, and it's going to sit flush. So that's what's going on there. So it's coming along. Uh, he's, he doesn't plan on driving this truck this summer. This is something he said he wanted for next summer. So I haven't been overly rushing it. I've just been taking my time with it. Kind of gives him a break on the bills. It doesn't get too uh, hefty all at once, and away we go. So remember, it's always a good time at all time. We'll see you next time. And uh, big thumbs up and thanks for watching guys.